guys, it's Help. Today I'm here to share with you inexpensive drugstore makeup that is worth your money. Or I think I'm going to title this drugstore makeup under $6 that is worth your money because all of these are $6 or under. And some of these actually, it may depend. Like some of them, I had to kind of average it out. A couple of them, it's like $6 here, $5 here, $7 here. So kind of the average of about $6. I did one of these videos a few weeks ago on expensive drugstore makeup that is worth your money. And you guys seemed to really enjoy that video. Got a lot of good feedback on that. So I thought I would do inexpensive. I have a bunch of products here to share with you. Without further ado, let's just hop right in and get started. I don't have any primers. I did test out the Wet n Wild the Dewey Primer or something. I did try that out today and I do enjoy it. I feel like it makes my whole skin. I So I was getting ready in here and then I was out in natural lighting kind of and I looked and I was like holy cow my skin looks so dewy and glowy. <laughs> I think it's from that primer because the foundation I'm wearing is actually what I'm going to mention today is the Elf Flawless Finish Foundation. This one normally does not look this dewy. So I have the shade Porcelain and Light Ivory. Light Ivory is literally like yellow. Way too light. I need to get a different shade. We did their shade range, so that's why I kind of having a hard time with it. But um, porcelain is actually a pretty good match for me. I really do enjoy this foundation. This foundation is six dollars. It is a natural, nice finish, a medium coverage. You can kind of build it up a little bit. Like I said, I'm wearing it today. I think it's very nice. One of my favorites from the dark store. My top five, probably from the dark store. And yeah, really good foundation. I really do enjoy this Elf Floss finish. Next up is my Rimmel Lasting Finish. I just want to throw this one in here really quickly. This one averages about $6, depending on where you get it. And I really do enjoy this one. I don't like the new one as well as this one. I feel like I was looking up the prices and I was freaking out because I was like, I can't find this. Are they not selling this anymore? But I'm pretty sure they still are. But if they get rid of this, I will start freaking out because... I love this. This is my one of my favorites. I should probably like get like another one so I have a backup in case they do get rid of it. I don't care for the breathable one. It's fine. I just don't really care for it. I like this one a lot better. So this one's really great. Nice finish. It's like a medium to full coverage. It just makes your skin look so good. It looks like skin. So that's how I describe it in every time I talk about it in my videos. So Love this one. Another foundation is the, I, this is the last foundation, I promise. The Rimmel Fit Me Foundation. This is the Dewy and Smooth one. I have the shade, or did I tell I didn't tell you the shade in this one. This one's 100 Ivory. It's like a perfect match for me because it's more of a gray undertone. This one's 125 Nude Beige. This is definitely too dark for me. I This was perfect for me in the summertime. I've worn in a while because it's too tan for me. But I think this is a very nice dewy finish. It makes your skin look good, but like not... You like you're wearing too much. It's kind of similar to all of these, except for this one's a little more dewy than all of them. This one has a SPF for normal dry. They do have a matte version. I don't own the matte version. I have tried the matte version many years ago, but I do like this dewy one for my dry skin, and I think this one's very nice as well. Two different concealers: the Maybelline Fit Me. This one was about six dollars, depending on where you get it. It was like five or six or seven, but I believe it's around six dollars. I have the shade 10 and 15. 15 is kind of my shade now, but it's a little light, so I would normally just say I'm shade 10. I do like this concealer. I think this is a very nice concealer. It's very medium coverage. It's lightweight, but it still covers enough. It's not thicker or like heavy duty. The other one, which is Catrice Liquid Camouflage, which is $6. This one's a little bit more of a high covering. This one I have in the shade 10 Porcelain, which is the middle shade. This is insane. They have three shades. This is the middle shade, and this shade is too late for me. What? But I do think that this Catrice one does cover a little bit more than the Maybelline one. I feel like it's just a little more covering, but it, they both feel pretty similar. I would wear the Maybelline one on maybe a little more on a natural day. This one's a little more of a gray undertone, whereas the Maybelline one, the Catrice is on the top and Maybelline's on the bottom. Maybelline's a little more yellow undertone. I do think... They are both very nice. I Like I said, I do believe that the Catrice one might cover just the slightest bit more, but they are very similar, and they're both, like, the same price. And I do recommend both of them, depending on what kind of your cup of tea is. Which, I don't drink tea, so I don't really have a favorite cup of tea. Why does my hair look so poofy? I have a powder. I have a couple powders. I have two different ones from e.l.f. I have the e.l.f. Finishing powder. I have the shade Fair slash Light. You guys, I used to talk about this powder. Who remembers? Who's been with me for a while? I used to talk about this powder like probably like six months ago. And then I got on the Maybelline Super Stay Better Skin Powder train, which that one is more than $6, so I can't mention that one. But this one is very nice. This one is good for just setting under the eyes. It's a little bit, it's like a thinner powder, whereas that Maybelline one is more thicker and more of like a covering 
adds coverage. This one doesn't necessarily add coverage. This one is just very good for setting under the eyes, brightening, if you get a lighter shade, just a thin powder, very nice. Sorry, am I blinding you? Very natural, easy powder. If you're looking for like a matte one, I have one I'm gonna mention too for that. This one is $6 and it is a very nice, good price and a very good natural product. If you, if you have dry skin, you would really like this because it's not gonna cling to all the dry patches and it's not made for mattifying, like my skin is not is dry so I don't need mattifying products and so I really like this one. Rimmel Stay Matte, you guys probably knew this was coming. Every YouTuber talks about this powder because this powder has been around for years. It's like ancient and this is a really good powder. If you have oily skin, this powder will probably keep you matte for a couple hours but it's not going to be like a days long worse. So if you want something that's going to keep you matte but not like it's going to suck the life out of you for all day, this is not it. But it's just a pretty thin, a little bit more coverage than the other one the elf one same scent i have the shade translucent a lot of people get different or transparent a lot of people get different shades i just have the translucent one i honestly have not used this powder in so long i should probably whip it out again because i do really enjoy this one and i think it's a very nice thinner powder but it's like it's good for mattifying and it keeps you matte like sometimes i'll get a little oily in my t-zone especially in the summertime so this one's great to just whip out and throw in your t-zone and it helps me because my skin's not that oily so it does keep me matte so i really like it other elf powder that i have to mention is the under eye powder this one's three dollars so you say you have a powder foundation that you're setting the rest of your face with but you don't necessarily want to put a thicker covering powder under your eyes which i run into that problem a lot i will take this elf under eye HD under eye setting powder or something that's what it's called and it's just a thin it's kind of looks very white but it's really thin and smooth it's like a really silky powder it blends out to like nothing and it is a very lightweight just thin brightening kind of powder under the eyes I used it a little bit on top of my makeup today just to kind of clean everything up I feel like my makeup's getting a little crazy going here. This is a very nice powder for just something simple, especially if you need to just set under your eyes, like I said, and you use a powder foundation on the rest of your face. This one used to be a, like, have, like, specks of shimmery glitter in it, but they reformulated it, and it doesn't anymore. There's, like, no glitter in it. It's a very nice powder. Play Girl Just Blushing Blush. This one's in the shade Just Playful. This is $6. I adore these blushes this one is very pretty i love these tones i'm wearing it today and it's just a very nice mauve kind of natural blush and it, it looks really well i mean it goes with my dress which i love it's from rosie days if you guys know casey holmes her boutique i love this dress and yeah so i really do enjoy the la girl blushes i have not tried any other shades but i do enjoy this one and i think it's a very nice one it wears pretty well. I'm not a big blush person, so to say that I like a blush is kind of an accomplishment, so I definitely like this one, and holy cow, you need to blend that out. Now I have one brow pack, the Essence Make Me Brow Gel. This is not a brow gel that you want for if you want your brows to just stick in place and be like suction on your face, not moving anywhere. This is not it. This is the brow gel just to set in, maybe lighten the fibers, kind of just mix in with your brows. I'm gonna rub my fingers and then my brow hairs move. They're at least somewhat in place compared to like if you didn't have anything. So I do like this and this one is only three dollars, right? Yes, three dollars. The Wet n Wild Single Shadow in Brulee. This one is 99 cents. Really great, just kind of a neutral undertone cream shade. That's perfect for my skin tone for setting my under my eyes. A lot of YouTubers are talking about this. This is the older one. They have reformulated it into a newer one, but I've heard the newer one is just as good. So really like that. Shimmery single shadow would be the Maybelline Expert Wear single shadows. This one is in the shade Nude Glow. This is gorgeous. If you guys know of the L'Oreal single eyeshadows in Amber Rush. I've talked about that many times. This is very similar. I think Amber Rush is maybe a little bit more metallic and even maybe a little bit more, this is a little more rose gold, whereas the Amber Rush is actually a little more like this undertone. This one's a little more almost gray. I love this shadow. Why don't I wear this more often? I usually go for the Amber Rush one. This is very pretty. I love it. $3 or $2.99. You cannot beat it. If you find a shade definitely go pick it up. That's the one thing that's limited with these. I heard the matte ones aren't as good in these shade ranges, which is a little bit disappointing, but if you can find a shade that you really enjoy, like a shimmery one, go pick it up because they're worth it. Play Girl Eye Luxe 
quad this is in the shade urbanized this is six dollars and you get four shades so you're getting about a dollar something a shade easy for traveling it's pretty thin and you get four matte shades they're brown so like a, more of a neutral shade which is just a white and you get like a deeper taupe and you get like a warmer brown and then you get like a darker black and these all just look so pretty on the eyes that was horrible swatches i'm sorry amazing if i would were to travel i would literally take this and the like this maybelline single shadow and that would be eyeshadow it's so simple it's compact you have different shades for everything you have one for setting under your you're setting your lid in place from your primer or your concealer whatever you use to prime you have more of a warmer undertone, you have a cooler undertone, and you have a deeper shade for the outer V or like liner or something. Then you pack a single shimmery shade like this, and there you go. Perfect. These ones also come in other shades too where there's mattes and shimmers. They have a bunch of different ones that I kind of am thinking of picking up because I really do enjoy these. There's like more neutral undertones with a shimmery brown maybe, um, purple undertones, there's fun colors. I mean... Just amazing. I have so many lip products to mention, which is funny because I, the one thing I don't wear very often is blush and lip products because if I'm going to school early in the morning, I throw on my Vaseline and just run out the door. I don't worry about lip products when I'm at school, but I do have a bunch of them to mention that are really inexpensive that I enjoy. The Rimmel lip liners are $3. I have two of them here. I have the shade, what shade is this? Red the Scene. R-E-D, the scene, and Gone Burgundy. These are really great lip liners. They're very creamy. They're only three bucks. I'm actually wearing this red one today, which I feel like this lip looks a little sloppy on me. I don't know why. Really love this burgundy one. But they're very creamy and nice, and I do enjoy these a lot. They are some of my favorite lip liners. They're the ones that I always use, and I don't use lip liners. I, d I don't spend a lot of money on lip liners, and I, very, I have very few. I have like maybe five or six or seven maybe six or seven lip liners I don't know and I usually have like I have like one red one nude one burgundy shade I just have like one of each because I don't feel the need to have 20 different lip liners because I don't wear lip products that often anyway and yeah so I really do enjoy these they're nice and expensive creamy easy to work with they're retractable which are nice I hate the pencil sharpening lip liners because they're so difficult you do one swipe and you're like I gotta sharpen again you gotta carry a sharpener around retractable ones are so much easier looking for an actual liquid lipstick these are the wet and wild liquid cat suits i have put these in a love hate relationship video but it's more of the fact that i don't i have a love hate relationship with actual liquid lipsticks these wet and wild ones are very good if i were to wear a liquid lipstick i would wear these i used to have another shade but i got rid of it because it was very patchy but i do enjoy these i haven't worn these in a while which i kind of wish i would pull them out again oh this is so pretty it looks so good with my eye look why am I not wearing this? I have Rebel Rose, which is in the middle. And then I have Missy and Fierce, which is this red one. And then I have Berry Recognize, which is the deeper berry. So these are very nice shades. I really do enjoy these. And they are great. If you're looking for an inexpensive liquid lipstick. Okay, I have two actual lipsticks. These are the Revlon Super Lustrous. Well, I have more than two. I have like seven of these. But if you're looking for a good just everyday lipstick that you can throw on, they're not going to wear all day long, but they are just a nice li lipstick. I want to say liquid lipstick. That are pigmented. They're pretty inexpensive. These ones are $5, so I think they're like $4.99. I always round up. Wine with everything. And then the other one was Blushing Mauve, or is Blushing Mauve great lipsticks they're my favorite ones from the drugstore they're just classic and they've been around forever they have so many different shades i feel like they have like 80 plus shades i think so yeah if you're looking for just a classic lipstick these ones are my favorite lastly is the elf lip gloss this is just supposed to be clear but it's kind of got a little tinted this is two bucks i love this i do not spend money on my lip glosses like a lot of money because they're all the same um i it's just not worth your hard-earned 40 dollars on a lip gloss or $20 on lip gloss spend two dollars it's the same thing this one's clear they have other ones I actually just got a tinted lip oil from them for like five bucks the other day I mean they have a bunch of different varieties elf is very great with their lip products I really do enjoy those as well I hope you guys enjoyed this video if you did give it a thumbs up let me know inexpensive products that you think are definitely worth purchasing subscribe to my channel if you are new here I would love to have you stick around and be a part of the family and until then I'll see you guys in my next video bye guys